Praise God. I want to talk about what every believer should know. What every believer should know is that they are, we are trifold beings and that our spirit, after having been born again, because this is for believers, B-F-A-B-P is for believers from a biblical perspective. After having been born again, your spirit is brand new. Any man in Christ is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Your spirit, man, is perfect. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your spirit. Romans 8, 11, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead has quickened your mortal body. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Jesus lives inside of you. He's made you brand new. Your spirit is brand new. One third of the work is already done. The scripture tells us to have our whole spirit, soul, and body blameless until the coming of the Lord. That's why Romans 12 tells us to renew our mind. So you got to get your soul to line up with your spirit now. And I'll tell you then, boy, you put that flesh under subjection. You put that carnality under subjection once you get everything in line with your spirit. Your spirit's already, man, your spirit's already whole. Your spirit is healed. Your spirit's delivered. Your spirit, man, you, you got the mind of Christ. Not mentally, but you have the mind of Christ in your spirit, man. Man, you, Holly, you are a spirit being, and you are powerful, man. You can open up your mouth and call things that be not as though they were. You can frame your world. Man, it's your spirit doing the work. You put the word inside your mouth, and, and I'll tell you, boy, speak forth, knowing it's the spirit of living inside of you. The spirit of God lives inside of you, and you are a spirit. You're unstoppable. Nothing can hurt you. Nothing can stop you. But again, Scripture tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, 16, Paul said, no, no man, don't know anybody according to the flesh. What happens, we're all carnal. We know each other by the flesh. We don't know ourselves by what the, what the, what the Word of God says. James 1, 25 says that when I look into this perfect law of liberty, you got to look into the Word of God to see uh, who you really are. Never identify yourself with your soul, well, I work here and I'm do that and I'm an athlete or I'm an artist and I go here and I do that. I'm a mechanic, I'm a mathematician, all that. Man, or I'm nice to people. They say, that's knowing yourself in the flesh. How about in the spirit? Knowing yourself by your spirit. You're a chosen generation and a holy nation. You're God's own special treasure. A peculiar person brought from darkness to God's marvelous light. You have the mind of Christ. You walk in divine health all the days of your life. This is knowing you by the spirit. Hallelujah. And that's the way we're to know each other. This is what every believer should know. You are a spirit being. You're not that soul. And by the way, you never seen your face. You have never seen your face. All you seen was a reflection. You've never seen your back. All you've ever seen was a reflection in the mirror or in some water or on a window or something else. But you, you know, <laughs> because again, you know yourself by the flesh. Often you don't know yourself by the spirit. You need to know yourself by the spirit and know everybody by the spirit. It, most Christians, the, the word don't work for them because they know Jesus by the flesh. They don't know him by the spirit. They don't know him being the one who was on the Mount of Transfiguration, you know, uh, shining as the sun shining in his strength, you know, or John the Revelator speaking, his eyes were a flame of fire and out of his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword. No, John didn't know him by the spirit when, when he laid his head on Jesus' breast. But now we see the same Jesus. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, knowing him by the spirit. Every believer should know that you are a spirit, man, and start looking at yourself as a spirit being and watch how you begin to dominate over all things. Praise God. That's all I got for you in this little short, little quick hit, a little two and three minute segment here. Click subscribe right now to this BFABP here on YouTube. Go to my site, anthonyblackmanministries.com. Check out my, my uh, website at anthonyblackmanministries.com and check out my Facebook page, a list of sermons on there, entire in-depth sermons on a host of these subjects. Anyway, man, I pray for my subscribers. I love you. I care for you. In Jesus' name, have the best day of your life.